It's WCW Live. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Borash, along with Bob Ryder, and for the next hour, we're going to be here talking about what's on our minds and hearing from you about what's on your mind. It's our free Thunder edition of WCW Live. Don't forget, when Thunder goes off the air tonight, join us back here at WCW.com, where our guest will be Mike Kinney. We've got a special treat for you tonight. Before Thunder goes on the air, our very special guest, Bob, I know you're excited for this, is Elizabeth. Oh, definitely. Looking forward to the interview. I think the fans have a lot to ask her, and uh, looking forward to what she has to say. Our number is 877-WCW-LIVE, and of course, the chat room. Always uh, a lot of activity there, a lot of folks in there tonight. Feel free to fire away your questions at Elizabeth, and of course, Bob will be monitoring the chat room to get those questions. I'll be looking in as well. Elizabeth, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. You know, this, uh, this kind of setting, this kind of... Uh, Insider type internet uh, talk show. I don't think you've done a whole lot of this before, have you? Mm, I think only once before. And uh, I know the fans have a lot of questions for you. I guess uh, we were talking about your career mm -hmm. and the longevity it's had in the wrestling business. Do you remember what year it was that you uh, you were introduced uh, in the World Wrestling Federation? Uh, 1986. Was it 86? Mm -hmm. Wow. May of You're going on your 13th year. Yeah. I did have a little small break there when uh, Randy and I uh, divorced for uh, three or four years. But, uh, yeah, a long time. <laughs> you know, and, and growing up, did you ever think that this would be uh, the career? No, I certainly didn't. I had no idea of anything like this. But I loved every second of it. It's, it's been terrific, yeah. What, uh, you know, when you met Randy, uh, whose idea was it for you to, to get involved in wrestling? Uh, honestly, um, Randy was, uh, had been working in Memphis in one of the more local organizations and gotten a call to go to the WWF. And when he got there, they had an idea to put him with a woman because they had not done it before. But their idea was uh, Missy Hyatt. Oh, really? And um, he, we were newly married, so he kind of you know, thought that maybe he, he might try to pushed me in there a little bit somewhere along the way, and uh, luckily for me, it worked, and uh, it was good, yeah. Now, she, if I, if I remember correctly, she was actually brought in and was used like once or twice. But later, a few years later. Oh, that was later, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, in the World Wrestling Federation, then, uh, Randy said, this is, uh, right. this is my idea. And it was Randy's work. idea. Vince, Vince's idea was something else. He wanted to be really kind of the blonde, bombshell thing, the whole... You know, like, uh, and uh, I certainly wasn't that at, uh, at the time, nor am I now. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe uh, kind of fought for me, and I certainly obviously appreciate that, and it worked for us. So it was a surprise, and, and it worked really well, I think. Well, and I think the way they brought you in was amazing. Uh, they billed Randy as the number one free agent in wrestling, and all these managers were mm -hmm. were going after him. And then he announced you, and you came out. What was that like walking down to the aisle for the uh, first time? Can I tell you? I remember Bobby Heenan standing in the back, and Bobby said to me, "I'm shaking all over." And Bobby said, "Just uh, walk heel to toe, you know." And I said, I, "I don't know if I can do it. It was 50 New York, sure. only 5,000 people. As, you know, closer now where you get 20,000 people in the arena, but." Um, I, I don't remember that initially the bit that first time, but after that I remember very well. But that I was so nervous and so uh, overwhelmed. That was great. Yeah, you know, in the fan response, I mean, it took off for you right away. You were you were featured all over the place, and and Randy certainly uh, shot right to the top right away. Uh, you know, but he's always been a star, and would would have been a star without me anyway. So um, I, I feel very fortunate that he included. Our number is 877-WCW-LIVE. A lot of uh, fans already want to talk to you. I, I do want to get a couple more questions in, first of all, because I don't think a lot of people know much about you uh, and know much about what you're like uh, off the air, off camera. Mm -hmm. uh, you're actually, when I met you Monday, you're actually a lot more outgoing than I thought you would be. <laughs> right. Well, because, you know, I don't get a lot of opportunities to chat. <laughs> right, and you're not, you're not going around slapping people or beating people up, no. you know, like we've seen other women get involved in. Has that kind of been your policy over the years to just kind of, uh, kind of stay back and let the action happen? Uh, my feeling is, is that uh, the show's about wrestling and about the guys. And um, 
I have no desire to try and steal any uh, bit of the law in life. Uh, I enjoy what I do, and if I enhance what's going on, then that's great. But if, you know, I don't, I've not been my position ever. Yeah. Elizabeth, we've got a lot of fans in the chat room, and, and they're asking questions. Uh, they want to know what your relationship is right now with Randy. Randy and I are friends. We're, we're actually uh, better friends now than we were uh, maybe being married and working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and traveling, and the whole thing was very hard. It's very, it's very difficult on a relationship, obviously, and uh, I think it's terrific, and uh, we're really good friends, and I'm thankful for that. So much of the uh, the package that you you guys were in, in those days, uh, the music, the the entrance, all of all of the the excitement. Uh, that was a terrific time to be in the wrestling business, wasn't it? It was. It was uh, very exciting, and I didn't know much about the business before I got into it. And um, getting into it at that time, you know, the, the Cindy Lauper and all the people getting involved in it. You know, it was truly exciting. And Vince McMahon regardless of where he is today with his business and how he can conduct himself and it or whatever was uh, a truly uh, good to me family was good to me and the experience was extraordinarily positive now as opposed to uh, how things are handled now uh, back then we didn't see a whole lot of and I don't want to use I, I can't come up with a better word but exploitation mm -hmm. Uh, as far as we didn't see you in swimsuits, we didn't see you in G-strings walking down. And you'll never see me in that. <laughs> <laughs> were you ever approached with that idea and, and weren't comfortable with it, or was that just something that wasn't done? Um, actually, there was a summer slam. I think it was like 1980, late 80s. I'm not exactly even sure when. Uh, Sandy and uh, Colt were tag team partners. And there was some question where I would come out and come in, either take off my whatever costume and be in a bathing suit or something. But, um, you know, we went through the, the whole uh, gamut of uh, emotion on it. And I just, I couldn't do it because I'm not comfortable with it. And uh, I did actually pull my skirt off. But I think I had on a lot more than a lot of cocktail waitresses wear at different times. Uh, but it was, it was very difficult for me. So, yeah, no, I, I'm not comfortable with it. But you know what? If other people are, then and it works, then good for them. That's their deal. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, that's great. Now, uh, we do have a lot of fans who want to ask questions. Let's jump right away to the phones. Let's start off with Kevin, who's listening in Canada. Kevin, you're on with Liz. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you guys? Doing well, thanks. Yeah, I was just wondering what you thought of Randy now being with George George, like a woman half his age. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that one? Like a what? Like a, uh, did you say a woman half his age? Yeah. All right. So be about 22 years old. All right. Yeah. Well, actually, All right. I think she's 23. Yes, yeah, she is actually a little bit less. Um, no. She's, uh, I have met her, and she's uh, very shy and very sweet. And uh, you know what? If uh, she makes him happy, then that's better for everyone. So, so be it. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. We do appreciate it. Now, Liz, I know these questions will sometimes be very personal, and, and if you don't, okay. feel free to, to say no comment if you choose. Uh, Chris, let's, uh, Chris is in Mississippi. Chris, you're on with Liz. Hi, Mrs. Liz. Hi, Chris. On the end of circumstances, would you, do you think you could ever go back to the WWF in their present state with a portrayal of women now? Um, I don't think the WWF would have any um, a need for me, or uh, I wouldn't fit into their program. I would never rule out going to work for them. I, like I said, my experience there was very positive. Um, Vince and Linda McMahon and Shane and Stephanie, they were always a, a very big part of my life for a very long time. Um, but I, I don't think I, I fit into their... Uh, uh, Your, their current product. Right. Oh. And, uh, you know, but hey, I wish everybody well. All I all right, well. Anything else? Yeah, one, one last question. Do you see any way, I know this uh, in the grip of wrestling, do you see any way that uh, you could take George's, George's place and then be back to Randy? No. <laughs> uh, even even in the grip, though? Even, even forgetting, you know, reality? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Okay. No, not in the plan, Chris. <laughs> thanks. All right, thanks. Uh, our number is 877-WCW-LIVE. Liz, has there been any, any time, uh, you know, in your wrestling career where you thought, 
I need to get out, and I need to get out of it now. Uh, only uh, actually when Randy and I divorced, um, I would I did not continue, and I, the only reason I came back into the business is because um, I spoke with both Randy and uh, Hulk, and they said we'd like you to come back. And when I came back, I don't know what we all expected, but it's hard to recreate something that was once uh, worked and very positive, and you know if you grow in life. Obviously, people change and stuff, and um, you know, uh, I don't know how much longer I'm actually going to do it. But uh, I, I like the business; it's fun, it's great, and, and at this stage for me, um, what I'm dealing with is a lot of guys who are like my big brother, and it's, it's a really good, fun, positive experience. And I'm and working with Lex is good for me because it's positive in a way that physically. And you know the whole process is different. You know, I'm 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 getting myself into a better place. You know, training and all that stuff. That's that's something a lot of the people in the chat room were asking about. Was uh, where is the thing with you and Lex going? Do you do you have any idea what direction you're going with that? Uh, well, I'm going to be working with him. Um, he uh, had a, a, unfortunately just as they were kind of um, we were starting to work together, he had the torn biceps, and he had to have bicep tendon reattachment surgery, which is a minimum of a six-month healing process. So um, that's kind of why we haven't done anything much or, or been on, on television together, but I think it's good for both of us. We've never really worked with um, a manager slash ballet woman before, and uh He's obviously very positive for me because it's, it's given me a new kind of motivation as far as setting myself. We hear so many things about uh, working on the road and how tough that is, mm -hmm. uh, not only on a family, uh, but just on a person's, you know, as far as, you know, hanging out on the road constantly, the hotels, the, the groupies. Uh, you know, it's amazing that uh, how families can somehow, you know... It, I it, applaud everyone who's maintained their their family and their structure. I remarried in uh, 1997, in December, and um, couldn't uh, make it last. It was my schedule and the whole thing, and and just was, again, recently divorced. Not something I'm going to go through again anytime soon, believe me. But I applaud all of those uh, guys who have you know, families and kids and what, you know, The problem is there's a lot of unfortunate gossip that happens, which may or may not uh, reach the people in your immediate family. But, uh, you know, the, the road is hard and traveling is hard, but, you know, you, you can make it work if you want. How many days uh, a week are you on the road? Uh, right now, um, because of Lex's situation, we really have been only going on uh, Mondays, whether we work or not. Um, but once he's back uh, and ready to keep road, I'm sure we'll, I'll be working house shows, Monday house shows and pay per -view. So I'll be on the road as much as I can. Which I don't really, it doesn't bother me because I don't have family, I don't have children, I don't have... Yeah, you know, so for me, it's not a, it's really fun. Is that something you, you eventually want to settle back down? Uh, no, it's, it's funny. I'm 38 years old, and I don't know that, um... Are you really kidding me? Yeah, I don't know that oh. it's in it for me. You, I don't know. <laughs> Man, you, uh, that's great. You, uh, you certainly don't look your age. Well, I mean, thank you. I appreciate that. But, I mean, you know, it's just like, I, I don't know. I mean, I tried. That's why when I remarried, I married a... Uh, a lawyer, a guy, I thought, you know, this is it, I'll settle down, but um, I don't know, this, this business does do something to you and uh, something in your your blood, your brains, I don't know. You're not the only one. <laughs> John's in Texas. John, you're on with Liz. How you doing? Hi, how are you doing tonight? Good. Good. Hey, John. Uh, I just want to know, what was that interview Monday night? What's supposed to be about with you and the Google? Oh, the press conference. Uh, Yeah, what happened that that white be? That was pretty good. Uh, anyway. That's I have a feeling that's going to lead to something. Mm, I'm sure it is. All right, gonna have to stay tuned. <laughs> All right, uh, our number is eight seven seven WCW Live. Jared's in New Jersey. Jared, you're on with Liz. Jared, hello. Yeah, go ahead, Jared. 
Oh, oh my God, I can't believe him. <laughs> hey, Sarah, what's up? I just say to Miss Elizabeth, I have been wanting to meet her my entire life, <laughs> and um. It, don't it, tell me you're 30. So I'll have to, to kill you. Um, <laughs> what was that, Liz? I said, don't tell me he's 30. I'll have to kill him. <laughs> I get that all the time. <laughs> Jared, what's your uh, what's your question? Um, I just I just wanted to tell Elizabeth I love her so much. Thanks. I think she is absolutely gorgeous. Um, she doesn't look 38. Um, I hope that you know some someday she can settle down and do those things that she might want to do well, as a family. Those kinds of things. Um, I, I've been wanting to meet her for my whole life, and I never, ever can. I, last time I went to meet her, I was in Miami, and that all that stuff happened with Macho Man, and unfortunately, she wasn't there, so uh, I, I, I just want to know, you know, uh, if, if she plans to be, uh, you know, more active, if she's going to stay with WCW for a while. Oh, yes, um, yes, if, absolutely. If, if, um, you know, what, Sarah, what, uh, yeah, okay, go ahead, Liz. Uh, absolutely. Um, as soon as Lex is ready to wrestle, we're going, going to uh, really go uh, full court with it. So I'll, uh, I'll be involved and enjoy that. All right, Jared. Thanks for your call. Bye. Uh, thank you. All right. You know, it's amazing, too. These type of fans are so dedicated, uh, you know, and so devoted to their favorite stars. Yeah. Uh, does it ever surprise you how many, I mean, it, everywhere you go, it's got to be uh, people coming up to you? It's, it's uh, pretty fascinating because uh, there are a few really great fans in different areas that I remember meeting when I first started working for WWF, and they still come, and they're a super, you know, I mean, all these years later, and I remember, you know, meeting them and traveling with them, actually, maybe getting a ride, whatever, you know, when you're, it's, it's, it's great, I love it, I think it's, it's, it's really, it's a, it's a special relationship that you can bond with, with uh, a lot of people. Sure. Our number is 877-WCW-LIVE. Bob Ryder, go ahead. Somebody in the chat room, Liz, just mentioned uh, George Steele, and, and uh, I guess I want to get your comments on that whole situation. Uh, what was it like being stalked by George Steele in the WWF? <laughs> you know, that was a lot of fun. That was great. Um, uh, program that was developed. It worked, it worked out. It was a lot of fun. I haven't seen George since... Uh, I'd left the WF, and uh, I did hear, though, that he did say that uh, he would never have ever, I don't know, he said something sort of disparaging, I think, about me at some point after I left the WF, but I, I had a great time with it and enjoyed it, and uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Our number is 877-WCW Live. Danielle, how you doing? You're on with Liz. Hi, Danielle. Oh, what's this? Yes. Hi. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we've got a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I have a question for you. Okay. Danielle, Danielle. 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 Yes. Yeah. Take, a, take a deep breath. <laughs> oh, my God. Breathe in. <laughs> really? Breathe out. Where are you from, Danielle? Um, I'm from Long Island. Uh-oh. You have to come back here. I'll be the first person that will, like, need you. I will, like, stick over for a whole week. <laughs> I will be out for you. I love you so much. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. What, uh, what's your question, Danielle? Um, I wanted to know what you're like in high school. Oh, uh, I was totally the nerd. Really? You know, I grew up, uh, I'm from Kentucky, and I grew up riding horses. I started riding when I was about four, and so I spent most of my time at the barn, and then I was in the marching band. <laughs> oh, really? You were in a band? Um, Are you in the marching band? I played flute. I was the marching band I, with the big hat and all that, and then... <laughs> I was one of the who convinced me to try out for Majorette, and I did that, and then I was so shy, they put my picture on the front page of the sports section in my Majorette costume with that, you know, big old hair yeah, thing, and the hair they do, and I, I couldn't do it again. I was uh, insanely shy. <laughs> All right, and Danielle. Thanks for your call. Thank you. All right. Uh, I must say, that's the first fan ever. I think the Bob, is that the first caller that's been hysterical on the phone? That's the first one. <laughs> and we've had a lot of guests that were hysterical. But well, the first one. <laughs> wow. So you were, in, you were in the marching band. Yes, I was. Now i got to ask you. Concert band and marching band. I played uh, you know, uh, flute and uh, saxophone. Okay, so you were a nerd, you're saying. Is that what you're telling us? Yeah, well, com uh, compared to other stories, yeah, I was sort of... You would consider yourself a... I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I'm just wondering. <laughs> what, what's funny to me is that, uh, you know, in that, if that's the way you were looked at in high school, to come back to that class reunion 10 years later, uh, you know, or however it was when you were finally on television and a major celebrity, uh, were people surprised to see you on TV? Uh, honestly, I never went back. 
<laughs> oh, that's what I would have done too. I said, oh, now you didn't like me in high school? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> now I'm a TV star. No, I, uh, I, I don't know. Um, no desire to. No. I understand. Greg is in Baltimore, Maryland. Greg, you're on WCW Live with Liz. Hello, Miss Hewitt. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. It's so pleasure to speak with you. Uh, I was wondering, what is the biggest misconception that people have about you? All right, that's a good question, Greg. Thanks. Hmm. Well, I don't know, because I haven't heard that much stuff, but, um, gosh, I, I really can't hear because I don't know what people's <laughs> perception of me is. I think people, you know what, I'll, uh, Bob, I don't know if I'm, if I'm off base on this or not, but I think you use a real quiet gal, yeah. very reserved, and, uh... And that's not me. <laughs> no, you know, first... Okay, think, there you go. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the, that's the conception, or misconception, I think, about, about you, and, and that's not the case at all. You're very outgoing. Greg, uh, thanks for your call. Thank you. All right. You know, I think you did, if I remember correctly, you did an incredible Fran Drescher impression. <laughs> Am I right? Well, that may be true. Give us a little. Give us a, just a little bit. Well, I, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't want to insult anybody, so right. I don't know if that's a good idea. All right. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Mark's in Connecticut. Mark, you're on WCW Live. Hi. How are you doing? Hey. Well, thank you for taking time to come on. We appreciate it. Um, just a couple of questions. One's going to be kind of unusual. Um, when you were married to uh, Randy uh, Savage, I and I'm a, the reason I ask this, I'm a former uh, college baseball coach, and I've done some work in professional baseball on the player development side. And I've always been wondering, you know, wrestling was really good to him, but did he, at all the times you were together, did he ever mention, like, a real longing that he didn't get up further in the Cardinals organization? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think it bothered him, um, uh, a lot when he was uh, younger. Uh, he played, uh, minor league ball, Cardinals, Light Park, and, uh, he, read. he, yeah, I, he was a catcher, and he, uh, had a separate shoulder behind, uh, home plate there when, uh, oh, was the play was made, and he actually taught himself to throw left-handed. Oh, yeah, he was ambidextrous. And he, you know, and initially he wasn't. So he spent an entire offseason learning to throw uh, left-handed. In fact, didn't he play with Mark McGuire in the minors? I think I'm McGuire's years that. were... I don't, I don't McGuire, know about that. McGuire was Team USA in 84. It would have been a little uh, uh, after Randy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Randy, okay. uh, Randy played right out of high school. Huh? Yeah, he signed with, with an area scout out of there, I believe, that I've heard correctly. Um, I won't keep, my second question is just a, on the wrestling side. Mm -hmm. um, December 88, the ending, did you feel uncomfortable at all um, with the ending in terms of maybe utilizing you for a little bit of a, I guess, sex appeal? Was that the first work? thing? Was that year or that long? The 88. Okay, yeah. Yeah, oh, I was like, completely uncomfortable. <laughs> was, was that your idea or, or uh, the No, no, it was, uh, I actually believe it was Hulk and Vince's idea. All right. Thanks, Mark. Well, thank you very much. Do appreciate it. 877-WCW Live. Chat room is alive and well. In fact, I, if I remember correctly, the only reason I said that is because uh, Mark McGuire was on ESPN Radio, mm -hmm. and I heard him talking about uh, getting the chance to play with uh, with Savage. So I, it's, it's from way back. I don't know if it was just casual ball playing or they actually played in the minors, but uh, mm -hmm. I do remember that. Uh, you know, the, uh, the amazing thing is, Liz, uh, we've seen women in wrestling and we had uh, Medusa on earlier in the week and I know uh, uh, she's a doll I mean you guys uh, are pretty good friends yeah. uh, what, what is she like? Oh she's great I've known Medusa for a, a very long time and um, she's one of those people that's real dedicated and real hard working and if she's your friend she's your friend you know if, if, if it's someone you, you always know you can uh, turn to she's great she seems real nice who other uh, people do you consider, you know, good friends of you in the wrestling business? Um, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Tay, one of our natural girls, is a very close friend of mine. Um, I would consider uh, actually Lex one of my best uh, male friends, and uh, my closest friend uh, actually I'm at her home right now, uh, taking care of her pet before she gets home. It's uh, Jamie Engel, who's uh, assistant to Eric Bischoff. Oh, okay. You're over there taking care of the pets? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and her, actually, Eric Bischoff's wife, Lori, is also m my training partner and one of my very, very close friends. Oh, so you live in, uh, in Atlanta, then? Yes. Okay. Uh, Jenny's in Alabama. Jenny, you're on with Liz. How you doing? Okay. What's your question? Um, how does it feel being a level of a young girl? 
Do you feel okay. like, do you feel like you're a role model? Uh, no. <laughs> Jenny, do you consider Liz a role model? For I you? don't feel that I'm a role model. You don't? <laughs> Jenny, what do you think? Are you is Liz one of your role models? Mm-hmm. Really? Well, that's very sweet. But um, uh, you know, I don't know what I do that is uh, necessarily positive, but I hope it is positive. <laughs> All right, Jenny. Any questions? No, okay. Well, it's nice to be your call. Thanks. Thank you. Our number is eight seven seven WCW Live. Liz, uh, in our in our last few minutes here, I, I got to ask you: has, has anything you ever gotten hurt or anything? Have you gone through this whole thing unscathed? That physically? Yeah. I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, physically. Let's stick to physically. Um. Actually, years and years ago, uh, when we did one of our first live shows on. Uh, Saturday Night Live, which was a replacement show out for NBC, right. and um, Randy came out of the ring and fell on me, and there was, I think, I think there was supposed to be a matter, maybe they were kidding me, to hit the back of my head uh, on the concrete floor, but apparently they had, someone forgot to put that mat there, oh. and then uh, I got carried out by Hulk and all this stuff, and uh, yeah, no, that, that was the only time actually I was really... Uh, and it was, uh, yeah, unpleasant. That's what would be mega powers, if I do remember. That would be the mega powers. Right that's where the mega powers split up, actually. That was one of the uh, reasons uh, Randy's jealousy of her. Right. Well, I understand. Well, Liz, it's been a delight to talk to you. Thank, Thank you so you much so for much. doing it. We had a lot of great calls for you, and we'd love to have you back sometime. Anytime. All right, Liz. And this is Elizabeth here on WCW Live. We're coming back with more of your phone calls. Dave Sher will join us with a look at the news, and we'll preview the upcoming pay-per-view as well. When we